Hey guys, my name is Abhishek Baskar. I am a beatboxer and a generative artist as well as an architect. Uh, for those of you who don't know what beatboxing is, it's basically That is beatboxing and apart from this, I also design for a living. So I started beatboxing when I was 16 years old and I've been performing since then. I'm 26 now and I've been in the industry just over 10 years now. Uh, one of the biggest hurdles I would say is educating the masses about beatboxing and how it can be a sustainable profession uh, being in the entertainment and the music industry. I think that would be the core of uh, a, a struggle as a beatboxer uh, and also in terms of getting the word out there as to what exactly beatboxing is. This is a question which I've always posed to my uh, uh, viewers uh, through uh, 16 to 26. I always ask people what, uh, how many of you know what beatboxing is and a couple of people raise their hands up and at the end of the performance I always ask the same question again. So now how many of you know what's beatboxing and all their hands go up. So doing this manually seems to, uh, that that's the uh, hard part. The easy part is performing and giving the audience a good time. I wish I could start doing things earlier, right? I started beatboxing at around 15 or 16. I wish I could change and I could start beatboxing earlier. That would be really cool. And also since we're speaking about time machines and everything, I wish I could age back a couple of years as well. Uh, so I am uh, mentally stuck in the age of 16 because that is where things started, you know, were going for the better. Uh, but yeah, uh, I wouldn't change the process what I went through. Uh, it wouldn't be fair because ultimately the process is what defined who I am today. Every single uh, experience you go through, that is what defines you at the end of the day. So I was 15 years old and uh, I just started beatboxing and there was this Durga Puja festival happening near my house and I just wanted to go test it out. I wanted to test if beatboxing is attractive to people, whether people like it. And I just walked up, uh, There was it was really uh, next to my house and uh, I asked them if I could beatbox. They thought beatboxing meant boxing. So I told them no, I need a mic and uh, they asked me to go on stage and perform. And within two minutes, people were jumping and screaming and that is where I realized that this art form has some meaning and people really love it and I should do more of it. And uh, that, I think that was the turning point in terms of, uh, you know, this passion turning into a profession. Uh, also because once I finished performing, they gave me a consolation prize of I think 200 or 500 rupees in an envelope. So I took that and I went back home and I gave it to my mom, like a decent South Indian boy. And yeah, that is where I started realizing that this passion of mine could become a profession also because of its uh, financial independence. So I got paid to do what I love. What inspires me is I have this motto in my life to better the world one beat and one design at a time. So I, it's very important for me to make people happy at the end of the day and that makes me happy. Uh, when it comes to inspiration, I don't have one specific role model as such. There are obviously people like uh, Elon Musk. If you see my Instagram, uh, Twitter and all these places, you will know that I'm a huge believer and follower of Elon Musk and his principles. Maybe not what he's talking about in the crypto space. But there are so many other people and as well as regular people uh, who I get inspired by. I work uh, with tiny pieces of ins uh, inspiration. So that is my main key, I would believe. Even with beatboxing, a friend of mine just was beatboxing and I got inspired from that and now my entire career is with beatboxing. Uh, a friend of mine told there's no mathematics in architecture. I believe that uh, and I got into architecture because it, both of these are creative aspects. But these tiny sparks of inspiration is what I look at. And uh, yeah, these are the things which I look at and also my uh, own younger brother. Uh, he's one of the calmest guys ever and for me especially the past two years, this guy has taught me so much. So yeah, all these tiny bits of inspirations ultimately create magic for me. Uh, in terms of getting my creative juices flowing, uh, for me, I keep beatboxing 24 seven. Uh, that is the main way where I learn uh, how to uh, 
generate different sort of beats by myself. Uh, also, apart from that, when I perform uh, to people, I realize that it puts a smile on their face at the end of the day, and that makes me happy, and that's what gets me out of bed. So these are the two main inspirations for me. When it comes to uh, me and my case, uh, what you see is what you get. That is the best way I can explain this. Uh, mainly because I don't have a personal life or something which I need to showcase which is original. What you're seeing is my original life and my personal life. There is no uh, personal or professional or different things like that. As I said, my main motivation is to make people happy and entertain them. So that is by my biggest motivator, uh, so to speak. Even with beatboxing, even with design, if I can make people's lives better at the end of the day, uh, that that's my job ultimately. It's to make you, the viewer, and the end user happy. I think my main message to the people would be: stop focusing on all the small things in life. Look at the larger picture. And this is something which I always tell people: consider your life as a pyramid, and just focus on the top triangle, like a you know, like a broken pyramid, and just focus on the top triangle in a pyramid. So that is what your core focus should be on, and everything else will be a byproduct. So in my case, uh, I focus on beatboxing and design, just these two things. I don't focus on the monetary aspects of it, right? That will become a byproduct. So when you focus on the larger picture, uh, everything else becomes a sub or a byproduct of it. Uh, so I've conducted beatboxing workshops, uh, two of India's big, uh, biggest beatboxing workshops with Virat Kohli. Uh, Chris Gale and Ranveer Singh and all these people. I have also collaborated on a piece uh, for where I uh, lent my uh, beatboxing uh, for a project for the United Nations uh, with a dear friend of mine. And um, I've also uh, recently got into NFT, uh, which is uh, uh, non fungible tokens. And I've been working on this research project for over, just over four to five years now. It started in 2016. It's called the Meta Voice Project. It is a way for people to see the human voice, understand the sentence, see the human voice rather than just hear it. So it is my project which is uh, launched. It is the world's first beatboxing generated digital art, um, which means I used my beatboxing and the human voice to design this particular digital object. And uh, that is available as an NFT for people to experience. And you know, if someone wants to own that piece, they can own it. Uh, that has been my recent accomplishment. And uh, I also became the first Indian uh, beatboxer to launch my own NFT. So yeah, these are the things which keep me going and I've been uh, performing since March 2020. So as a beatboxer in the pandemic, uh, you know, it's all hit us hard. So but keep, uh, uh, you know, the ability to keep going, that's very important as well. So I'm glad I've been able to do that. And yeah, you guys decide what's best, uh, what's the best thing I've ever done. Uh, I think the best piece of advice which I can give my audience is if all of you could send me 1-1 one, one lakh each, but I'm just kidding. Uh, the best thing you can do for an artist is uh, respect the artist and also, uh, you know, just watch their content, the uh, kind of content they produce, uh, as well as in terms of, uh, you know, go, go to their shows, especially at times like these during the pandemic. Uh, I think artists have been hit the hardest. Um, since because we are an entertainment based industry and the music industry right so we are the first ones to leave and we'll probably be the last ones to get back so during times like these watch as much content of artists as possible support them in any way you can that would mean a lot to an artist whatever their pursuits are make sure you support your artist whomever you like So hope you guys got a small insight into my life. This is me, Abhishek Baskar, and again, as I said, how many of you know what is beatboxing? Thank you so much. See you soon.